We're going to be installing the rest of the, the rest of the interior. This one is just going to be pretty much installing the interior. The rest of it, I uh, got to wrap the downpipe. Been looking at a couple videos on how to do those. I have never done it before. It doesn't look that hard. Uh, you have everything here lined up, ready to go. Pretty much all the interior. Motor's still the same, by the way. I haven't, haven't touched that. I got to finish off my uh, the lines for the heater core, connect them back there. Uh, I'm trying to still mentally figure out how I'm gonna do those. I did swap out to these small, uh, to these uh, smaller 90 uh, bend fittings. Uh, the other ones they kind of stand out a little longer. I think these will be a little cleaner. I also did it for the valve covers. For the valve covers, I was thinking about instead of doing the the two lines like I had before, I'm gonna cap one of the lines off and just do like a T here and just do a single line into the catch can. Uh, I don't think there should be no restriction, it should be fine. But it's that. Have all the interior pieces here for the back. I'm gonna put it on. Got the back seat, trunk panels right here, tail lights, dirt brake light. Uh, have the exhaust over here. Gotta put that on too. What else I have here? The old dash, which is already sold. I had no idea people wanted that thing so badly. It's had to take it off for sale right away. I got over 20 messages. Uh, sparkles, which I have kept here. Armrests, cage cluster. Guys, I forgot to show this in the video. I posted it on my Instagram, but these are the. This is a part number for for these hooks here on both sides where where the back seat uh, clips into. Um, if any of you are wondering why this piece of wood is up here where those factory spare tire would normally go, the my layout of my that I have here for my trunk and my sound system it actually rests up here and this just kind of gives it more like a support for the middle. You could actually, you know, I mean, I've never really tried sitting on it, but it has enough support and it's thick enough that you could sit on here or whatever, just in case anybody's wondering why that's there. guys we have the interior back together for most of it I'm about to put in the my uh, cover slash subwoofer setup whatever you want to call it but all the trunk pieces are on already picked up a couple of stuff at the storage at the AM there my panels are in sales boxes seats on this is a uh, this is the trunk cover that I have that I 
I made up. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to put on. This one, super light for anybody that thinks it's super heavy. This is probably about seven pounds. This one, remember, is the one that has a box and the sub in it. This one, I'm gonna say it's a. This is gonna be like a good uh, 40 pounds. That's the heavier one, but it's not too bad. And that's it. Just like that, what is that? About five minutes. Trunk is all installed. Clean, good to go. Uh, this is a hard top, so I don't have to worry about no Targa top. But if, even if it was a Targa, without the, the, the bracket there, you could fit your Targa top back here. And if you're worried about the back, see how it looks. I wanted to show you guys just in case you were wondering what it looked like. Here's the bottle installed. Closed. Closed hatch. Perfect fit. When you look at it from outside, that's all you see. What's up guys? Welcome back. Wanted to give you guys an update. On how we are so far, the whole interior is done. Took a break over Christmas. Wanted to give you guys an update. Show you guys the interior I'll put back together. Seats are back in. So is the trunk. I'm waiting for these to arrive before I put the door panels back on. I think they'll be here uh, Monday. Trunks all put back together is finally complete so the next step i'm going to be doing is i'm, I'm going to be wrapping the down pipe with this uh with this black uh dei wrap i'm gonna set up the tripod so you guys, so you guys can see it i saw a couple videos on youtube uh i've never wrapped uh, anything before so pretty straightforward but I thought it would be pretty neat you know just in case somebody wants to you know somebody wants to do it too shot of the engine bay you guys have seen that uh, this fitting right here I actually gave it a little a little squeeze it's a 90 but it's at an angle the 90 was facing kind of outward out here give it just a little little squeeze and it's kind of lined up perfect now and the uh, on the cylinder head side, we have a 180 back here. So I'm actually gonna loop it like a U on the back side and then up into here. But uh, I don't wanna do anything until I put the, the down pipe on. All right guys, I have, a, I have a tripod set up. This is the down pipe we're gonna be wrapping. This is the wrap. And these are the clips to hold the wrap in place. From what I saw when I ran online, it's easier to dip it in water. It makes the, I guess like the material softer, and once it dries up, you know, it just stays in place. So, I'm gonna have my, uh, my nephew, Eduardo, help me. Hello, camera buddy. So, I'm gonna set this in the water now, and then uh, I'll set up a time lapse so you guys can see the uh, <laughs> This is actually going to be take two because the first one I kind of did it too close 
and it came out about six inches six inches too short in the bottom. So I'm gonna redo it again, give myself more uh, more gap so we get a actually get to the, to the bottom of the metal. Apparently 25 feet is not enough for a 4 inch down pipe for a 2JV. So we ended up here about, uh, I'm going to say about 4 inches from the end, which I'm not too worried about because really the heat that I'm concerned about is uh, the one from the engine bay. So this is good enough. So thank you buddy. Thank you. Alright. Good night. Alright. Let's put it on. All right, guys, so we just got wrapped up installing the downpipe. Here it is. Perfect fit. Remember, I got rid of the other bung. For some reason, the full race downpipe came with two of them. I got rid of one. And it's, the clearance for the heater hose is going to be perfect. We got plenty of room. Nothing rubbing on there. Back here, too. Get some light so you guys can see on there. Perfect fit. Nothing, nothing out of place. Everything, everything's going pretty smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the plugs now for a new set. I have them all here. I got them all ready. They're between 18 and 20, so it should be good there. I got the mid pipe here, HKS exhaust. Uh, fun fact here: this is a, uh, this is a cutout, a cutout valve. uh they're fun to have i mean you know you could it's right after the downpipe so it's kind of like if you have if you're running open downpipe once it's open i mean i i always have it open pretty much you know every time i go anywhere now if you like doing two steps this thing if you leave it closed especially it's that valve is not gonna last you anything they're they're not they don't like two steps they that little flap here it bends if you see mine it's like all flappy so it kind of sounds when it's closed like it's a rattling like it has an exhaust leak so just uh just a heads up they're nice and all to have but you know they don't they don't like two steps at all all right guys so here are those spark plugs that we took out got them in order from one to six they all look pretty even except number four it looks a little bit like a little bit of oil on there so everyone else is pretty dry but number four is it's got some oil on there so whatever too late now we're gonna send it like my uh my buddy said my buddy kevin Looking in there Everything looks pretty good. Number four, you see a little bit of oil there on the top. As far plug goes, everything else looks pretty clean. Stock OEM coils. Oh, let's put them in. What's up guys welcome back here's an update last night uh got to put on the one of the headlights this side here i am missing these two connectors here 
I didn't notice, but these here are these here are male and male, and they don't go into each other. So I tried looking for the plug, can't find it. So I think I'm just gonna go to the junkyard and try to pick one up up a Lexus or Toyota, whatever matches. Pretty sure it should be all the same for uh, for fog lights. I'm gonna be working on the on the end hoses today for the for the heater core and the uh, valve cover. I'm sorry, valve covers, you know, breather. Uh, shout out to the to the wife, fiance. She got these shirts made for me for Christmas. Kind of keep me motivated with the with the channel. Um, thank you, babe. So, so yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to how at least how I do these. Probably not how I, everybody does them, but it works for me. This is, uh, I believe, a dash, what is it, 18 or 20? That was a total nightmare. That was, uh, yeah. Whoever's looking to do the radiator holes, I would just buy a made from Powerhouse Racing, to be honest. Those things are, they're night, you know, if, you know, you, you need the right tools because the, the, the clamps, the clamps to go on it, you know, they're not, uh, the wrenches are not big enough. Uh, I had to go to Harbor Freight buy two new wrenches, which is not the biggest one because believe it or not, those things are huge. Nothing will go over them. And the fittings to get them right, the holes I had, I had it took me three tries to get it right. So that was not fun at These are the smaller ones are pretty manageable. So just simple cap. Put it in there. It's in. in there you know pretty simple screw it in and get to the bottom um i would i usually use uh two uh adjustable wrenches if it if it gets really hard that i can't you know tie anymore i take it to the to the bench tie it down where you know obviously a rag you don't want to mess up the the, the coating on the, on the fittings all right guys we got the first one done got it almost perfect a little scratch here but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. What I'm going to do now is get some tape. Tape it off and actually make a cut around it. Some regular 3M tape here. Kind of make the cut like right in the middle. We're gonna put the tape. Just one turn is fine, not too crazy. Right there. Right 
sure I get you guys angles you guys can see. And remember, trying to make the cut straight as possible, right in the middle. As you can see, pretty straight, pretty straight cut. Let's see how you can see. Pretty straight cut, right in the middle of the tape. So you could actually leave a piece of the tape on there so you don't have the the ends come out uh, come off on you. Just kind of peel the tape off. Just leave a little lip on there. And that's it. Cut great holes. So on the bottom, I didn't show you you guys, but in the bottom we're using a, a 90, and I bent it just a little bit to get the angle that I needed. So if you can see, it's just like a little hair out. I want it to be kind of, you know, in, in line with this from the bottom. I don't want to, I don't want to be doing too much, you know, angle and stuff. So same thing. Open here. Slide in. As you slide in, twist till you get to the to the lip in here, and we're in, and that's it. Repeat. And here's the final product. If you're wondering, no kinking in there. It's done. Turns. Ready. Now, test fit it. So I'm glad I recorded uh, this uh, step with you guys, so you guys could see. So I'll try and error. So it's a little bit on the long side. It's it will fit, but it's kind of like, instead of giving like a straight, it's kind of giving like one of these. And I don't, I don't like that. So I want to do, it's actually, this is the way it's hooked up. And it's actually, this fitting will have to be like this. And it's kind of like flexing a little bit. So I'm going to take out the fitting again, give it another little cut, and try to put it back in. Alright guys, so I'm not going to lie. It took me two tries to get it right little weird angle so I didn't want any uh any bends so as you can see it's down there almost straight up but you know it's a little bit of a flex you know for for the engine when it moves so it should be fine all right so the next one you see there on the side and then the the back of the head of the motor it's a 180 so we're actually gonna make it like a U around the back to the other side so that one should be easier all right, guys, so I got the other side done. So remember, this one's going to be heater core, and then it's going to loop, and it's going to make a U into the cylinder head. And then it's going to have this slack, you know, if it needs to move back, forward, side to side, so it's not tight. So it should be more than enough. Okay, so I want to record this, because I know some of you are going to think that, man, how are you going to tie the heater core? Thing's pretty fragile so rag double-sided vice grip on the back side of the fitting or the bung that i welded on grip it you know put the vice grips on and then you know then you hit it with the with the adjustable to tie down the, the fitting so obviously yeah that should be good enough you're not putting stress on the line and you're you're holding the back of it 
I should have any leaks. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. So everything's going pretty smooth until I got to the tiny part of the U in the back of the head. How the hell do I tie that? There's no wrench I can get to kind of maneuver in there. So I came up with the idea of getting a socket, kind of making like a so you get like a slice here. So it's slices the pipe inside of it. Sorry. Slice the slice, make it like a slice here. So it slides slides in and the tube comes out and then there I could uh could turn it. I honestly do not want to take out my valve cover to tie a freaking fitting. So I'm gonna sacrifice a fitting. I don't care. I mean uh, a socket. Fuck it. Let's do it. Idea. So use there. Kind of have it at an angle to the right. The slice is there. It goes over the tube. Goes down on the fitting. All right. Okay, that turned. So I'm gonna take it out. Alright guys, so she's bolted down. Obviously I notice the fitting's a little sideways. Yes, it's bothering the shit out of me, but if you want it tight and make sure there's no leaks. I went all the way to the right, make sure it was, you know, felt pretty tight. I don't want leaks back here. So that's that. Uh, definitely after doing this, I could say that uh yeah if you're not really about that uh show life or you want something like ridiculously time consuming and kind of expensive I, I wouldn't get into it you know it's not it's not just you know taking out the heater core and getting those things welded on there you know the fitting and you know it, it looks all fun and whatever easy on a video but i kind of been already here you know an hour and a half figuring out just how to freaking tie that thing and and cutting and putting online so it's like i say guys most of you guys you, you guys are in the super community so you know it, it's all it's all time and sweat that we put into these cars that you know that makes us unique from everybody else so but yeah i'm gonna be working on the valve covers next um before how i had it was two lines out that way to the catch can I kind of want to do something a little different. I know it's going to be a lot of fittings and you know, some people might like it. I'm kind of second guessing myself. So I'm going to just go straight back, straight back here, put a 90 here, a T here, and then just do one fitting here. And I, if you can see, I cap the bottom part off. Uh, I just want one line, something a little different. You know, I'm trying to change it up. My ultimate, you know, go how I see my, my valve covers is taking the stock ones out and putting the the OCD ones or or Hypertune or Plasma, the ones with the, with the outlets in the back, you know, any, I really don't have a preference as long as, you know, as long as they have the, the fittings in the back. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of already over the budget as we speak for, for this build. So that will be in plans for the next time. You know, right now we, I honestly can't get into a thousand dollar valve cover set from those guys. So we'll, uh, we'll go this route, see how it turns out. Maybe it works out good, you know, if it's horrible, you know, I'll take it down and go back to the, to the two lines how I had it, but we'll see how it looks. What's up guys, just got finished making the, the lines for the, 
for the breather, the valve covers, and catch can. Uh, I'm not too happy with them. I thought it was gonna be a little different, but square back, square back. I'm not, not too happy. I feel like it kills kind of like that flow of the, of the engine bay. I was looking at the back of one of my old pictures on my engine bay. And I don't know. But I think the both lines is turning back there, kind of just has a nicer uh, flow to the engine bay. So they're going to come off, and I'm going to go back to how I was. What's up, guys? Just got finished doing the lines again how I had them. Uh, a little different this time. I did them with the smaller 90 fittings before the other one will come out and like be literally resting on the turbo. This one's got like a hair. It's a little better. Same thing on this side and then on this uh, on the catch can side. Instead of doing straight 90s, that way I did a 45 kind of angle the uh, back there. So yeah, it definitely looks a lot better than having the square with the T in the back. Flows better with the with the engine bay. So yeah, a uh, couple things left to do. Uh, I gotta I gotta go find these two plugs now for the for the driver side uh, fog light and turn signal hey what else got a mounting exhaust mount exhaust uh front lip and that should be it oh i gotta bleed the brakes bleed the clutch and we should be ready to start her up so that's gonna be it for this one guys as always if you guys like the video hit the like button don't forget to like and subscribe if you got any comments you're welcome to, to comment, DM me on Instagram, whatever you guys want. Peace, I'll see you guys in the next one.